With respect to the neglect of the officer, um, I got the report from the inmate because I personally spoke to the inmate that morning when we heard about it. And he made that assertion that um, the, he told the officer uh, when the thing had happened the first time and the officer did nothing. I have terminated that officer. Well, I terminated that officer at once and maybe not necessarily only for that particular incident, but because it was an officer whom we had received previous reports that he may have been sort of carefree about his job. And in this place, you cannot be carefree. But what strikes me is that as I delve deeper into this whole situation, the young man made a confession to, the, to our medical doctor at, when he was being examined on the 29th and even to our intelligence unit that three days after, because it was three of them occupying, it was three of them occupying the cell at one point. And he's saying that when one of the guys got discharged from the cell, three days thereafter, the perpetrator started masturbating in front of him. And he did it for three days, thereabout. And that strikes me because I, I, I'm wondering why didn't he sound the alarm from then? We have good systems in place where the victim, if he was assaulted on the 25th, like he claimed he was, there's all sorts of mechanisms in place he could have used to get that story out. Um, like I said, we have an advisory, an inmate advisory committee and that committee are made up of inmates, is made up of inmates that looks after the concerns of fellow inmates. And they visit these buildings, I think, almost every day. And they go and take the concerns of them. If they have a medical issue, if they have a, a welfare issue, family issue, uh, there's an abuse or perceived abuse being um, taking place on them, on the part of my staff, they can report it to these guys. And I meet with these guys every other Tuesday so we can talk about the things that affects prisoners. So there's all sorts of mechanisms in place where this thing could have been. There's patrols by the quick response teams, regular patrols. As a matter of fact, I, hold, I have a whole printout that showed me that they were on patrols almost every hour and a half to two hours there about. The team leader, or the person who is in charge of the team for the day, he pretty much visits, not probably on a regular basis, but he makes at least two or three visits for the entire tour of duty. So I don't know why any of these avenues were not used.